peace and power is camps in the oracle one half of remnants gathering aka weirdo gang gang <laughs> and um we asked the question to everyone on patreon as for some content or topic that you would like for us to discuss and the topic that i first noticed was the one about dealing with illness whether it's physical mental emotional um even spiritual um so i wanted to share this with you the very first thing is i believe the reason why i incarnated with the illness was to be able to show people that it's okay to not be okay and that you will be able to be successful as long as you shift your definition of success that fits into where you are in the present moment so if my definition of successful was being able to bench press 300 pounds and with everything my body has been through that's probably not gonna happen today and that will make me feel worse so the very first thing that i would say is to be okay with not being okay the second thing i would say is don't judge yourself don't judge your symptoms don't judge your pain so let's just say you discovered um that you um ha are codependent let's say you just discovered that you deal with chronic depression Let's just say you just discovered that you have anger issues and you really should get some anger management. Let's just say that you have noticed that you have self-harming tendencies, whether it's just thoughts or actions or both. The first thing is to not judge it as bad. It's just showing up as part of your experience. So look at it with the eyes of a child and look at it like, okay, I'm not going to judge this as bad as part of my experience. What is it that I can learn from this moment? And maybe those moments show up so that you will have a reason to give more love to yourself because most of us were not raised knowing how to give love to ourselves, how to soothe ourselves and how to be our own best friend. So every single time a symptom of anything show up, I go into be my best friend mode. Does that mean sometimes I'm not going to cook dinner? Yes, does that mean sometimes I may not get all of the content done and all of the videos edited and all of the curriculum created for the classes? Yes, it does. Um, do I have people relying on me? Definitely, I know that I do. However, if I don't take care of me, I can't be a point of contact to share anything with anyone else that is going to help them transform their life. So be your own best friend. Don't worry about what's going to happen as a result of you being your own best friend. Give yourself what you need when you need it without judgment about it. OK, and even emotions um, like guilt, you know, um, that's the ego's way of triggering you to avoid doing something wrong that it perceives to be a mistake. But what if you told the ego, look, I don't believe in mistakes anymore. And I learn from every single thing that ever shows up in my reality. So it's cool, ego. Just sit back, buckle up. We go ride together. I'm driving. I got you. Trust me. I know this feels scary. I know this feels upsetting. I know that this pisses you off or whatever emotion that you're having. And I want to honor that. So I'm going to honor myself by acknowledging that I feel this way. And then I'm going to make a decision that is going to support me in being a better version of myself. Because that's how much I love us. So this is the conversation with the ego. Instead of hating the ego, but showing up and trying to protect you and keep you safe, just be thankful that the ego is even there because that was your security system put in place for you to survive whatever trauma it was that you experienced. So I hope that that kind of gave enough insight for you all to use I mean, if I let my illness manage the way I felt about myself all the time, I would have never done any of this. I just refuse. I refuse to not show up as the best version of myself every moment, even when I'm not feeling OK. It's not OK for me to make myself feel bad for not being OK. So, you know, for some of y'all, it could be more extreme. It could be small. It really doesn't matter at the end of the for your sickness, your mental illness, your pain, whatever is showing up, you don't have to suffer. Just be grateful for it and that allow you to have the experience but not feel like you're suffering. You don't have to be strong all the time. You don't have to hold it together all the time. All of these shoulds that we have put on ourselves, they make us miserable. The one thing that you will benefit from doing is showing up as your own best friend, especially when you know that that's what you need. Even better, 
be your own mother. Reparent yourself. Be the supportive system that you did not have and give that to yourself. For those of us who are people pleasers, the chronic fatigue, the pain, the mental illnesses, all of that was created because we detached from our true self. So that's why everything that we do here, whether it's magical systems, mystical workings, meditations, breath works, mantra ceremonies, rituals, potions, exercises, everything that we do is to help you be a more whole person so that we're not in remnants for the rest of our lives. So it's okay. Nobody is perfect. We are surviving a freaking apocalypse in the middle of a pandemic where everything in our biological system is being hacked and, and synthesized and there are so many artificial things. It's a lot that's happening. So the way that you can beat the matrix right now is saying, you know what? I'm going hard, showing up for myself, giving love to me. That's what I'm going hard at. I'm not going hard running on no hamster wheel. I'm not going hard killing myself trying to make money. No, I'm going hard and in investing and in loving myself unconditionally, showing up for myself and giving myself compassion when I need it, but also accepting that I am accountable for everything in my life, whether it feels good or bad, but just because it feels bad doesn't mean that it's bad. So all of what you perceive to be a bad experience in the past got you to this point. That is amazing and phenomenal. That proves that you are everything that you need. So keep listening to your heart. Stay tapped in with us throughout this whole journey. I make sure that I share everything that I'm learning, you know, um, that I feel like it's going to be transformational because I don't want to be wasting people time. So if you are listening to this, know that you just need to continue doing what you have been doing. If you need to make some changes, make those changes. But ultimately, everybody is searching for love and connection at the end of the day, no matter how that shows up. So give it to yourself. May, your third eye has just been kissed. Peace and power.